1854 was the year that the uh, first independent congregational church, it was known as at that time, hired a guy named Thomas K. Beecher, who was of that famous Beecher family of abolitionists, and he came here. So Thomas K. and his wife, Julia Jones Beecher, would have been the ones had they met uh, in the old building in the old church. He was, um, uh, actually his congregation was a little ahead of him in terms of being rabid abolitionists, as we call them, uh, but he was convinced by the folks here in Elmira through friendships that he met, including the Langdons and John Jones, and the sextant of this church was actually John Jones's brother uh, to um, uh, formerly uh, enslaved people who came and mm -hmm. found a place to live in Elmira. So Beecher uh, was here for a long time. He had a famous name. He was well loved by the community for lots and lots of things. But he also served, uh, uh, for example, the, the Confederate prisoners of war down at the uh, um, Civil War camp. Mm -hmm. He uh, was chaplain of one of the groups in the Union Army during the war years. So there were lots of things that he did, but mostly he tended his flock uh, which I have to admit, I'm sure was a white congregation at that time, uh, to open their hearts and their wallets, most importantly, mm -hmm. for folks that needed assistance. 